Hey guys, Ashton back again. This time we're going to be taking a look at one of my absolute favorite fragrances. This is a top 10 for me without a doubt. I actually discovered this through Scent Split. Um, and the second that I smelled it, I knew that I needed a full bottle. I went right through that sample, then had to order one for myself. And the fragrance that I am talking about is Field Notes from Paris by Inica Perfumes. This is actually done by perfumer Inika Ruland, who owns her own brand, obviously. Most of her fragrances tend to go a little bit toward the feminine side. This one is definitely unisex. Um, it is based off of her time in Paris when she was in perfume school, hence the name Field Notes from Paris. The box actually reminds me a little bit of the Tom Ford boxes in the sense that they lift up like so, and then the bottle sits right there inside. It's a nice presentation. I actually prefer uh, this bottle and box to the Tom Ford ones. So the bottle itself is a nice cylindrical bottle. Uh, it's got a metal band that goes all the way around that says Field Notes from Paris and has this little saying here, sweet scented Paris afternoons life measured out in coffee spoons. And then you have a, uh, a plastic cap here, says Inica on the top. You can take that off. The atomizer is actually a really good one. It sprays out a good amount of juice. Um, it also has kind of a handwritten street map of Paris here, it looks like, as a decoration on the bottle. Not sure how well you can see that, but it's all throughout. And it's got this nice kind of honeyed color that's darker at the bottom and gets lighter as it goes up. Box itself oh, says Field Notes from Paris right on the front here as the uh, perfumer and then the size at the bottom. The pictures that are on the box were taken by the perfumer's husband in Paris and the notes that you see all throughout were actually handwritten notes from the perfumer's time in school in Paris. So that's pretty neat. On the top you have an F for Field Notes from Paris. This is part of the perfumer's ABC's collection which right now is up to H. So each one of the letters has its own perfume which starts with that letter. So F is Field Notes from Paris. I know that G is Gilded Lily, um, so on and so forth. On the bottom, you have a little bit more information, uh, just ingredients, barcode, Field Notes from Paris. Not too much going on right there. Um, so the notes on this, on the top is coriander, orange flower, and bergamot. In the mid is tobacco flower and leaf, patchouli and cedar. And in the base is tonka, leather, beeswax, and vanilla. So overall, um, this perfume, and really just this brand in general, has a really nice presentation. I don't have any of the other uh, bottles by uh, Inica as of yet, but I've seen pictures, and they all have this nice kind of design going on. Each one is uh, different depending on the perfume you're looking at. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the juice itself and see how this stacks up. Alright, so we've gone into the presentation and a little bit into the fragrance itself. Like I said, this is one of my top 10 fragrances for sure. Um, you can pick this up for $95 on Inica's official website or you can go to Parfum1.com. They have it listed there as well. And you can get 20% off on Parfum1.com using the uh, code that they have in the sidebar. So you can save a little bit of money that way. You can also pick this up in discovery sets, but if you want a full bottle, the only way to go is with the 75 mil. Uh, this was released in 2009. Not that that matters, but just throwing it out there. Uh, off the top, this is a lot of coriander mixed really, really well with bergamot. So it's spicy, fresh citrus right off the top. Of course, citrus never really lasts that long, so once that starts to dissipate, you get into the heart of this, which is where it really, really shines, and that is tobacco leaf, tobacco flower, and a tiny bit of patchouli, um, and a, a smaller amount of cedar. The patchouli is super clean, not dirty, not animalic. It's not out there, it's not like hippie patchouli, anything like that. And the tobacco is just super, super nice. It's clean, sophisticated, it smells warm, inviting. It's, it's fantastic. Love it. Uh, the dry down 
is a really sweet leather. Uh, there's a little bit of tonka and vanilla in there, adding even more sweetness, and then beeswax, which is kind of the honeyed note that you'll get. And this is, at its heart, at its essence, a really sweet, honeyed, super clean tobacco scent. This is not like, um, you know, dirty tobacco. This is not like a, a fruity tobacco. Uh, it really is more of like that beeswax note instead of just like a, like a syrupy kind of sweet. It's not that. This is a really warm, inviting, comforting, just well-blended masterpiece of a, a tobacco fragrance. If you're looking for something that's, like I said, clean, not dirty, not like pipe tobacco, this is the flower, uh, the tobacco flower, tobacco leaf. This is what you're looking for right here. In my opinion, it's more of a daytime scent than nighttime scent. You could use it for night too, though. I use it, you know, whenever, just because I like it. Um, fall and winter, probably your best bets. Um, I would say that you could pull this off in summer, but, you know, with, with stuff where you're dealing with like a really warm honey, tobacco, vanilla, tonka, all these different notes that, you know, maybe don't go the best in the summer. But if you're like me, you just wear it whenever because it rules. So, if I give this a 1 to 10, I'm going to throw it out there and say it's probably a 9.5 for me. I know that some people don't dig it. Um, I've read other people's reviews where some people, you know, say that they don't enjoy it or whatever. Personally, I will always have a bottle, and if for some reason this starts to get really hard to find, I'll probably buy two or three, just to make sure that I never, ever, ever, ever run out. Um, you can sample this through uh, Inica's official website. They have discovery sets, like I said, on Parfum1.com. Uh, probably there aren't too many people decanting this one, really, because it only comes in these 75 mil bottles, and it's kind of hard to find them at a really cheap price, so I don't think too many people are probably decanting it. Um, and if they are, they're probably charging a pretty hefty amount. So, that is all that I've got on Field Notes from Paris. Like I said, if you are looking for a comforting, clean, sweet, cozy, well-blended uh, tobacco scent with a lot of honey, beeswax, and coriander, especially at the top, then this is what you're looking for. Um, I don't know as far as this house's other scents, how they are, but this one is amazing. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.